The biggest thing is the team is always there. The team is always here. And you know what, it's crazy. We play the most individual sport where you always feel alone. And these gentlemen here created a culture where you never feel alone. And that's something that I don't want any of us to take advantage of. Climb that fence after, after this one over Ryan, here, right? Yeah. yeah. After Ryan hit the tweener winner Mackie, off yeah. of the net cord, yeah. and then CJ did what? He climbed up on the fence in a very chimpanzee-like motion. Right. Grabbed it and proceeded to gyrate his hips in extremely fast motion. When you saw CJ yeah. humping the fence, yes. What did that make you think? I thought. This is exactly where I need to be. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on. Let's go, Mitch. Ready, set, go. I'm so proud of you guys and, and Phil and Jeremy and, and Mitch and all of you um, for the spirit that you have. Because that's what I had a dream of creating something like this. I have had people talking to me for the last 20, 30 years about, hey, we've got to organize an alumni, so this and that, and I've tried to help them. And you guys have done it. So congratulations. Well done. Uh, a, a really big thank you to, to Mitch and Nelson and Brent and Ryan for putting the idea together and thank all of you for coming. It's so great to have you here, thank you. You know, we talk all about team and family and so on, but, but that's you. You people have created that. It's all you blokes out there busting your gut and working and having fun and, and now coming back. And you know, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all of you for all your incredible hard work in making the ranch what it what it is it's fine to have a vision for something but unless you've got people who buy in and who are prepared to do the hard work it, your vision never materializes and the only reason we have such a great ranch and such a great reputation and such a great feeling is because of all the hard work that you do out on the court
You know, they say that tennis is 90% mental, 10% physical, so, you know, I like to throw in mind games here and there. I like to hop up and down. You see, I get 150% uh, more double faults according to uh, Thank you, the Jack. Dartfish website. And, uh, Thank you, Jack. Yeah. Jack? Sometimes you get this magical feeling. Three times better than my birthday. My yeah. firstborn, who beats everything. Now, Nelson, uh, yeah. thank you for coming all the way from Australia yeah. here to, to come up to the RBC Pro Challenge. Now, what were the uh, the strategies and tactics you were taking yeah, into that match? Strategies you see, uh, Mitch has got to cover quite the amount of court as everybody else with those small legs, so we just knew if we moved him around the court, we'd have his number retire out pretty easily. His stamina isn't great, and uh, what I hear is a pretty cranky uh, loser as well. Well, yeah, there was a little aggression there at one point. Now, uh, Shocking. Now, one, one word, yeah. how would you sum up that match? One word. Phenomenal with an F. Phenomenal. Phenomenal with an yeah. F. Thank you very That's much, right. sir. Hey, you. Don't be shy. Without you, the world is dark and dry. Back in the, in the dark ages, when Phil and I used to run the, the camps, I always used to think that, well, you know, the important thing was to be in front of the kids and talk to them and make them laugh a little bit and do an on-court and so on and so forth. And then over the years, I realized that really what made our camp special was all of our counselors who were living in the rooms with the kids who were eating breakfast with them every morning, who were on the courts for hours and hours with them, who were eating lunch with them, going back on the courts, spending time at the pool, playing games. And I realized that that was, that was what really made a kid want to come back. And you know, with 2,000, 3,000 kids coming through the ranch every summer, you're the people who really made that happen. Living with them on the courts, working hard, so again, just a huge thank you to all of you.
He's got a shit accent. He clearly has been taking steroids this whole weekend. And I cannot take any more pleasure than announcing the biggest dick award for this weekend. It's good.